on the last video. Find April Ryan. Save her. And so it continues. Upstairs, venture forward. Oh, poot. Um, look at it. Solid. I don't think it's possible to break through this one. It looks brand new, too. Like it's been installed recently. Hmm. They install this fancy ship, but everything else is, looks like crap. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh. Alright. I have a phone. I can do computer things. Computer it. This. Yep. Computer things. This. Uh. Um. Uh. Shoot. Find it. Uh. Find it. The. Uh, this. Um. I don't have enough time. Shit. Hurry up. Uh. This. And. Oh. Uh, fuck. Fuck this. There. Cool. Good job. That was really impressive. The things you do there. Alright, so what's behind this door? Uh, open. It was just a room. Is that a spinning pizza? Holy shit. I kind of want it. Can I can I get it? Get pizza? Someone's rehydrating and heating a pizza. Looks like there's still a bit left on the clock before it's done. Yeah, so we should you should steal some before they know you're actually no, that's probably you can take a pepperoni probably. Okay, I don't think I want him to see me. Oh, wait. Phone. N oh, no. What else do I got here? Lighter and a lockpick. None of those are gonna help me. Okay. Well, let's see what he does. Oi! Anyone there? Yes. Oi! You right there? Uh, yes. Um, job. Hello. I'm, uh, here to apply for that job. A job? I didn't know we were hiring. I'll have to check with me, uh, with the manager. Ah, oh, mate, wait a minute. We're not hiring. Who told you we'd be hiring? I saw the, uh, ad. Maybe I could talk to the manager in it. You have a hearing problem. I told you, we're not hiring. Now I'm taking you to the door, then you'll bugger off nice and quiet-like. I can't leave. What happened to nice and quiet-like? Now get stuffed, or I'll chuck you up the door myself. Oh, fight time! Okay, I will beat this man up. Because he apparently doesn't want to deal with me nice and quiet-like. But, nope, ow! Okay, nope, ow! Okay, come on. You're a terrible swinger! There! Block! Punch! You shut up, you can't even talk. Ow! Ow! You shouldn't punch girls, man. This is rude. Alright, maybe I gotta be quiet. I will sneak by. Oi. Nope. Anyone there? No. Shit! Uh, how about vacancies? Good afternoon. This is the Victory Hotel, right? I need a room. I'll be staying until Tuesday. Do you serve breakfast? Oh, yeah. G'day. Um, sorry, darling, but this ain't no, uh... Alright, oh, yeah. The Victory Hotel. That's what the door says. Vacancies, eh? Uh... Everywhere else is fully booked, and I really need a room. Do you have anything with a bathtub? Oh, we might have something on the... Oh, wait a minute. How'd you get in here? I didn't hear the buzzer. Or did I? Um... I, I get a... Silver tongue. I buzzed, and someone let me in. Isn't this the reception? I like it. It's... Uh, rustic. I didn't need the buzzer. Maybe someone... Bloody old Marcus will throw a right fit. 
I'll be up shit creek for crying out loud. Uh, I'm going to be calm with you. Listen, I don't want any drama. I just want a room, something with a view. Ah, yeah, a room. Uh, with us being a hotel and all. Maybe, uh, well, I don't think there's anything available at the moment. Um, could... could I look? Maybe I could just have a look around. Check out the rooms and the facilities. You know, scope out the place. No, no, no. Sorry, darling. But I can't let you wander around here alone. Wouldn't be minding my job, would I? We don't have any vacancies. We're a very popular hotel. Yeah, sorry, I'll have to show you out. No, I'm not leaving. Don't get smart with me, darling. Now you'll be off like a bride's night here. I'll have to drag you at myself. Come on! No! Come on! Oh, ow! Hey, cheap shot, dude! Alright, round two. Fight! Darn it! Why am I so bad at beating up men with Hawaiian shirts? Oi. Anyone there? Run away, run away, run away, run away. Open. Oh, man. Oi, you right there? What? <laughs> Wait a second. Um, I'll do that. Good afternoon. <laughs> this is the Victory Hotel, right? I need a room. Go. I'll be staying until Go. Tuesday. Run through. Can I can't. breakfast? I can't oh, tell where yeah. I am. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but this ain't no, uh, all right oh, yeah, the Victory Hotel. Oh, that's great. That's what the door says. But Everywhere else is really good. <laughs> and I really need a room. Do you have anything with a bathtub? Oh, we might have something oh, on the... Oh, my gosh. Wait a minute. How'd you get in here? I don't I know. the buzzer. How did I do this? Oh, did I? I don't know, man. I will tell you the truth this time. I came in through the basement. Yeah, Give me a pizza. Smart. Still... Basement. Oh. What's that setup you got down there? What What's is that it? For? You're oh. not looking for a place to oh, stay, are you? You broke in. Yes. What are you snooping around for, eh? I'm looking for my right friend Reza. Here. My ass is toast if Marcus hears about this. Yep. Maybe I should just... Shut it! I'm trying to think here. Okay. With all due respect, that could take a while. In the meantime, why don't I just continue on my way and you can forget you ever saw me? I'll forget I ever met you, all right, after I send you swimming in the nearest canal. What? Nope. Run. Go. <laughs> I completely bypassed him. Oh, well, shit. No, I didn't. There you uh, are. Ah, get away. We're fighting in the middle of a freaking room where a lady's sleeping. Or man. Or actually, I think they're dead. I don't even know anymore. Beat him up! Don't be getting aggro now. Okay. I'm not getting aggro. Man. No. Die. Don't be getting aggro now. Okay, I'm doing much better this time. There we go. Come on. Yeah, you missed. Go for it. Okay. Go. Damn it. Ow. Kick. Oh, come on. You're terrible with your kicks. There you go. Nice. You kick like a bloody mule. Thank you. I try my best. Ow! It's not always the best. Ow! Okay. You're leaving. Go get your freaking pizza. Ow! Okay. Go! There we go. He could wake up again at any moment. I don't think I hurt him. Badly. Oh no, you hurt him hard. He's messed up. I'd better hurry. He could wake up again at any moment. What is that thing? We must be testing it on these people. That's probably what this place is for. It's not a hotel. It's a laboratory. Yes, it is. What's all this equipment for? I don't know. But it's okay, because we finally made progress. 201. This is it. The room the little girl was in. You're right. Let's go in here first. Never mind. Okay, hang on. Oh, this place is big. Fuck it. Let's just go. Open. Darn. Okay, we'll find a key or something. Somewhere. I'm surprised we didn't check the guy's pockets, though. I'm sure he would know things. Ooh. 
Perfect. Go. If only I had a handle for the window, I could probably open it. Just kick it down. It's only glass. Oh, well, you might cut yourself, so I guess you're trying to just be safe. Bathroom. Oh, I took their handle. Good! Toilets! Whoa. This is a public restroom, but the shower is not... People can see you shower. That's not cool, man. Okay. Handle it. Open. Perfect. Alright. Well, there's a ladder, or... I'm probably gonna have to use the ladder. Yeah. Just go. Uh... That... Alright! No turning back! I'm guessing the friggin' stairway is probably blocked off or something. Because it seems like the only way up was probably this. Yeah, definitely so. Looks like medical equipment. You should probably steal some of it. Uh oh. Oh. Hello? He's went to his room. He was in the bathroom. What's this? That's gross! He probably just took the shower. And now I have a soggy towel. Gnarly. Okay. Oh, he's sleeping. Alright, be cautious. Open. Alright, it's okay. We'll keep moving. He's sleeping like a bird. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Open this door. God damn it, why is everything fucking locked? Alright, I think I can walk. Uh, here. Good. What about the radiator? An old radiator. They probably use plasma heating elements in the rooms now. I don't even know what that means. Okay. And this door is not gonna open, probably. Alright. Ladder, er, <laughs> ladder. Window it is. Oh. Dangerous! Wait, towel. Yeah! Tell on the radiator, then I can start a fire. Perfect. L let me, let me, okay. Towel? Oh. Never mind. Towel on here. N never mind again. Alright, we're gonna sneak into this guy's room, and we're gonna strangle him with the towel, and then we'll put on his boxers, and we'll become him. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Vinny! What? Need some help here, man! What? What are you yapping about this time, Eva? Uh, Yenta. What? Father. Cut the friggin' Yibbo talk and speak English! Uh, looks like medical equipment. What? Oh, um, there was a girl here. I never saw her before. Yeah, I know. She knocked me out cold. I mean, bitch snuck up on me. I've been looking for her. Where is she? I don't know, Vinny. I lost her. Stupid friggin' Viking. Can't trust no one to do nothing around here. Come on, let's find her. Okay, use the dirty sheet. Uh, dirty sheet. Oh, just combine it with a towel. There. Use it! No! Fuck! No! No! You shut up! I beat you before! I don't want to fight you again! Okay. Crap. The, the corridors are much more small now. I don't like it. Okay. Here we go. You're going down here, boy. Yeah, I called you a boy. You're not merely a man. No! Okay. Go. Get him! Kick him! There you go. Nice. Thanks! I work out. Or whatever my now. martial arts work. Get him! Sidestepping is freaking right awesome! Just like freaking Mortal Kombat for the Nintendo 64. Get down! Right and finish him! Nice. 
Good. Alright, now I can use my makeshift rope to get down here. And don't have to worry about that jackass. Do it. Oh. What? Seriously? Oh, radiator. There. Alright, now we can go. You're a very, very classy lady. Let's go across. April must be in the closet here. Go. room. But, let's check it out. Picture. That is Charlie. And those two girls? Maybe this used to be Charlie's room. But why did the little girl point to his closet? What's his connection to all of this? Oh. Shit! What the fuck are you doing here? This is my room! Get back to... Wait. I don't know you. Who the hell are you? Um... I will be polite. I'm Zoe. You a friend of Vinny's or something? I told him not to let his girls wander around. Um... Yes. Yes. Yes, I'm a friend of Vinny's. I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was using this room. Where the hell is he? Who? Vinny, who the fuck do you think I'm talking about? Oh, um, I don't know. Maybe he left. Jesus, if he did, I'll fire his fucking ass. He's no good to me. No good. Christ! Look, Vinny was going to help me out with some information about this guy, Reza Tamiz. Tamiz? Who the fuck's that? Another of Vinny's deadbeat friends? Something like that. Anyway, Vinny was going to help me out, but maybe you can help me instead. Why the fuck would I do that? Well, I was going to pay him, but if you're not interested... What? Uh, how much? 500 if you get me information about my friend. Another 500 if you find him. 1,000 wise, huh? Are you good for it? I've been burned by Vinny's friends before. Does it look like I'm good for it? I don't judge a fucking... by its... You know, the front, something like that. Shit. Yeah, fine. So what's this asshole's name? Reza Tamiz. He's about your height, black hair, tanned, probably well-dressed. Tamiz. Got it. I'll ask around, check the feeds, see if there's anything I can dig up. How do I get in touch with you? I'll be at the Fringe tonight. Yeah, right. No, really. Where do we meet? You should come back here around 10. I'll order a pizza, get a bottle of wine... I told you, the fringe. Look, sweetheart, there's a two-year waiting list over there. And to get on that waiting list, you need to be either very famous or very rich. And, uh, you, sweetheart, no offense, are neither. No, but I've got connections. Trust me, I'll be at the fringe, and I'll make sure your name is on the list. You're fucking kidding me, right? Right? The fringe? The fucking fringe? All oh, right. Jesus, I'm there. Jesus Christ, if you'd have told me earlier, I'd have helped you for free. Fuck. Excellent. All right, so we got a deal. Come on, I'll let you out the front. DNA lock. Unbreakable shit. Yeah, this place is an impenetrable fortress. <laughs> ah, connections. They're good. Nice, uh, word action. Whatever that means. I like this guy's voice acting. He seems like a cool gentleman. Can I steal anything before I go? No. I need to focus on finding Reza. Uh, okay. Well, maybe another time then. What? Huh? I, I was just in there! Shh. 
she's connected to one of those things I saw in Reza's apartment. What is it doing to her? What's all this equipment for? There's no person there. It's just a flower. What have I done? <laughs> oh, man. No. I need to focus on finding Reza. Okay, fine. Then we'll go now. What's up, man? He's going to let me out of here. I know. I'll check around, see what I can find. Now tonight, the fringe. You're not trying to con me or anything. I'm very serious. This friend of mine, he means a lot to me. Whatever. As long as I'm on the list and you got the cash. Uh, uh, wait. What was your name again? Zoe. What's yours? Marcus. You don't have a last name? No. Do you? <laughs> You're a player, Zoe. I'll give you that. Okay, Marcus. Thanks, I'll see you later. Bye, Marcus. Man, what a cool guy. I really like him. He just seems like the kind of guy that I could totally hang out with. And he called me a player. That means I'm good at basketball and or football. Maybe both. Who knows? Maybe I'll play football with a basketball just to say fuck the rules. Ah well, I'm gonna go walk by my Chinese friend and get to the fringe. And then I'll see my cool friend with the cool hair. There's a lot of cool people. Hey Chinese man! What's up? Bye! Fuck you! Hello fringe. Yeah? Hi, it's Zoe Castillo again. May I come in? Of course. Alright, buddy. Yeah, I put Marcus on the list, but, you know, just... Who the hell are you? Hi, can I... Can I converse with you? They don't serve any cheap stuff here, that's for sure. Well, I, I know him. I'm not saying she's cheap. I'm saying I want to talk to her, but fine, I guess not. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're back. Surprised? You look like you could take care of yourself, so no, not really. Did you find your friend Jericho? His name's Reza. And uh, no, not yet. But I have a lead. Good, I hope you find him. He seemed like a nice guy. Um, I must tell you of the border house. How long ago did you say you lived at the border house? Ten years. Why? It must have changed a lot. It was a horrible place. There was one room that looked okay, but the rest of it, ooh, just horrible. Ten years is a long time, girl. The world can change completely in a decade. That is true. I'm gonna click Reza. You haven't heard from Reza again, have you? Sorry, girl. If he calls, I'll let you know. Thank you, Charlie. For what? Listen, feel free to hang out here for as long as you want. Maybe your friend will stop by again. Maybe. I, I forgot to tell him about the whole Marcus thing, though. Kinda probably should do that. Maybe I gotta tell this lady. Hey, lady. Uh, talk. Yeah? Uh, small talk. So, have you worked here long? What are you doing? What? Why are you asking me questions? Uh, no reason. Okay, so stop. It's annoying. Well, thanks for the attitude. Thanks. Uh-huh. Jeez. Hey, man. Your girl here? Fire her. I'll take over. Plant. Bonsai tree. I like that whole Japanese theme they've got going on here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Where the fuck is Marcus? Maybe I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh, okay. Candles? Scented. Vanilla and champagne. Nothing different. Scented. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. Vanilla. You, here we go. And champagne. We're not open yet. If you want anything, you'll have to talk to Charlie over there. God! Charlie, your girls suck. Yeah? Um, nothing. Okay. <laughs> well, I made you adjust slightly, I'm sorry. Ah, well, I guess I'll leave? I thought I had to wait for Marcus. Whatever. That's no pussy cat. Maybe I can call. Oh, yeah! The videograph! 
I should go show that to this dude, man. Yeah, why didn't I? Wait, actually, maybe I can combine it with my phone. No. Can I use my phone and call my friend? Zoe? Hi, Liv. Did you find Reza? No, but I found something that belongs to him. His lighter. And there was blood on it. Sweetie, that doesn't mean a thing. Listen, I know he's alive. He accessed the wire for a brief moment last night. Just a burst of data. Really? Did you see what it was? Nope. It was encrypted to an anonymous recipient. But it was there, a sign of life, so I'm sure he's okay. Have you gotten any further with his notepad? Yes and no. I've got all the data out, and now I need to piece it all together in a coherent fashion. I've got bits and pieces. There's lots of stuff about the static, but nothing you wouldn't be able to find on the wire. Looks like he was doing research into that. That makes sense. The static would be the kind of story Reza would be interested in. I've got a lead myself. What is it? A guy. He said he'll help me find Reza. I'm meeting him tonight at the Fringe. All right. Call me as soon as you know more, okay? I'll get back to the notepad. I will. Thanks, Liv. Bye. That must have been the trigger event. Let's go. I told you to leave me the fuck alone, didn't I? Back off, sister, or I'll call in my dogs. You are the size of fucking nothing. Shut up with your dog talk. You don't even understand what you're saying, rude little boy. I need a gang. I haven't seen any gangs around. Oh, they're here. The biggest one, they are the Shakespeareans. Stupid names, stupid clothes, very, very big guns. But they're just kids. Make a few yuan selling drugs, and all of a sudden they big men. Crazy world. They say joining gang is best way to survive. I say joining gang is best way to get yourself killed. Thanks. All right. Come again. Oh, is he saying that by. little kid over we here? In Venice. You shush. Don't we just went over this. This little boy over here. He's in this gang. Are, are your dogs your gang members? I'm going to pick on you. I think I better leave him be. No. Punch him. Punch him in the face. You've beaten up bigger men than him. God damn it, Marcus. Where the hell are you? Charlie. Charlie, the only thing I can think of is giving you the videograph. That's all I really have. And that's apparently what I'm supposed to do. God damn it. Could you tell me anything about this picture? That's you, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Where did you find this? At the hotel. Room 201. I found it in the closet and I figured you'd know. I mean, that is you, right? Ten years and a lifetime ago. Yeah. I can't believe that graph would still be in April's old room after all this time. April? April Ryan. The girl in the middle. 201. That was her room ten years ago. Did... Did you say April Ryan? Yeah. Why? That name sounds very familiar. You probably got her mixed up with someone else. April vanished back in 09, just days before the collapse. We spent a long time searching for her before we... before I gave up. Emma, on the other hand, she never lost faith. She still thinks April's alive and out there somewhere. Emma's the other girl in the picture. Yeah. They were the two best friends I've ever had. But I haven't heard from Emma in years, and... April let's just say that I don't share Emma's faith in miracles how did April disappear look I'm not comfortable talking about this it's private stuff uh, well you are being very very nice I'm not gonna push on you friend I completely understand Charlie it must have been hard on you losing your best friend like that I'm sort of going through the same thing myself, except... except I still believe Reza's okay. I'm sorry, girl. I'm sure he's okay. From what I could tell, your friend's pretty smart and resourceful. Look, why are you so interested in April Ryan? This is gonna sound crazy. 
can't even believe I'm telling you this, but I've heard the name April Ryan recently. I've been seeing things on screens back in Casablanca at, at the hotel. Strange, creepy things. At first, I figured it had something to do with the static. That might still be the case. But I think there's more to it than that. There's this snowy landscape, a strange black house, a girl. I know it sounds completely insane, but the girl, she speaks to me. Directly to me. Through the screen. Find her. Save her. At first, that was all she said. And then... Find April Ryan. Find April. Save April. When I was inside that place, the hotel, I saw the girl again. She pointed the way to April's room, to the closet where I found the picture. Jesus. If you're right, if this isn't some kind of sick joke, I need to contact Emma. She still believes April was telling the truth. The truth? About what? Can you stick around, Zoe? I'm sure Emma will hop on the first Vactrax or Scramjet out of Europolis, and she'll want to hear this from you. Once she gets here, we'll tell you the whole story. I promise. Charlie, the April Ryan I've heard of might not be your April. I don't want you to get your hopes up. April disappeared under some very strange circumstances, Zoe. If there's even a tiny chance that this has anything to do with her, we need to pursue it. Okay. I have to wait here for this guy to contact me anyway. Marcus. I met him at the hotel. Marcus? This is starting to sound like a damn family reunion. Marcus was a friend of ours back in the old days, until he got into Amethyst in a big way. Haven't seen him in years either, but I heard he got a job at the, uh, the hotel. Yeah. He's some kind of caretaker. And you're right, it's not a hotel. I saw something while I was there. They're testing some kind of device that hooks up to your head. I've seen it once before. It's probably what brought Reza to Newport. Anyway, Marcus said he'd help me find out what happened to Reza, for a price. I told him to meet me here later. I hope that's okay. No problem. This is the safest place in Newport. Nothing gets in or out without me knowing about it. I'll make sure his name's put on the guest list. I'm gonna go call Emma, and then I need to take care of some business, but you can just hang out here. I'll have the kitchen make you something to eat. That would be nice. I'm starving. I haven't eaten since the train. You come to the right place. Our sashimi's the best in town. Find yourself a table, and I'll have someone take your order. Thank you. Wait, Charlie? Yeah? You really think Rez is okay? He's an investigative reporter, isn't he? Jericho's famous. I'm sure he's been in worse scrapes. Don't worry, he'll be okay. I'm gonna have the biggest Caesar salad you've ever seen.